Walrus are an iconic species of the Arctic. They're a key species in the Arctic marine ecosystem and they're of immense significance and importance to Arctic people. But they're increasingly vulnerable to the implications of climate change. They're really living on the front line of the climate crisis. That's why we decided to launch the Walrus from Space project. What we're trying to do is to better understand walrus, how they're responding to the climate crisis now, and how they might respond in a climate-altered future. Now, that's a really difficult thing to do because the Arctic is vast. It's a difficult place for scientists to work. And we know that walrus can be very easily disturbed by human presence. That's why we've teamed up with a satellite imagery provider. We can cover a vast scope of hundreds of places where walrus haul out across the Arctic. We can capture them through imagery from space. One of the biggest advantages of this project is that it's completely uninvasive to the walrus themselves. The reason that we've travelled up to Svalbard is to help to verify the satellite imagery count. So what we're doing is that we're flying drones over the walrus haulouts at about 55 metres altitude where we know it won't disturb the walrus and that helps us to get really accurate, accurate counts for these particular haulouts. We can then compare that to the counts from the satellite imagery and that helps us to calibrate the counts and therefore make it more accurate for the population estimate. It's the hardest thing of the day is getting into these suits. Oh. <laughs> yeah. On the first day that we came out in the boats, it was a beautiful sunny day and that's important because it meant that the satellite images were absolutely fantastic, crystal clear. When we got here, we were able to do two successful drone flights and get really accurate imagery of the site. During this expedition in Svalbard, my role is to fly the UAV or the drones. With satellite technology, we see that we're able to go to places with all these remote species like walrus. Satellite images can give us sky every summer, every year. It's quite powerful. Getting yearly data set is what's really important to then understand the trends, especially when the environment is changing. We've had an absolutely amazing, successful trip. It's just been phenomenal, it's been off the scale. The timing of the satellite imagery coincided absolutely perfectly with the time that we were here. And in fact, you know, we could see ourselves and our boat in the satellite imagery. We have this perfect calibration and verification of, of these images, which is just gonna be great for the project and will really help to advance the project into the future. After two years of looking at them in satellite imagery, seeing the walrus for the first time, yeah, that was pretty exciting. I just didn't want to leave. I just wanted to stay with them all day. There are immense challenges ahead as we face the climate crisis. It's going to take a massive amount of ambition. It's going to require governments and businesses around the world to keep their promises. And we're going to have to restore nature to help us do that and to work with nature. When we come together, we can find solutions and that brings me hope. <laughs>